Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're well. So today I'm going to look at information for the month of March. As I usually do, I drew an oracle card off camera this morning. And for this month, I use the Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell. And the actual card is absolutely beautiful, including the messages. It's called the Great Gathering. And there is also a message on the card. It's coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. Absolutely stunning card. This reminds me of Sedona. I basically live like 15 minutes away from Sedona, so very familiar sort of surroundings. Anyway, going back to the messages I got from the card. First of all, it's a kind of acknowledgement that either you are kind of invited to connect with people who are like you on the soul level. So I'm talking soul family, uh, soul tribe, or you already are, and especially if you already are, you just know. It just happened or it happened a few months ago. But there is a clear message here um, that for the month of March, maybe you're going to have an opportunity to connect with your soul family. So it could be very different from one person to another, of course. It could be a, a friendship, a romantic relationship. It could be working on a goal, a project within your local community. If you remember back in December, I did a video for 2023 and I mentioned about this, that local communities were going to be very important during 2023. But yes, it's going to vary from one person to another. Um, the other message I got as well is of course you are coming together with your soul tribe to help you and them on your soul mission. And I've been reminded as well as an important part of the actual soul mission, sorry, is that your group of souls agreed before coming here to heal yourself to heal your ancestral line and to heal the planet. So it's just a reminder for us to remember, we can connect with our soul family or soul tribe purely for a reason of reaching a goal, but there is an aspect here of healing, of growing, evolving together, helping each other, being there for each other. So it's quite important. Um, and by doing so, we are reminded we help raise consciousness in the collective. So that's an important point. There was another message too, more for people out there who are still, how can I describe it? I would call it hiding in a spiritual closet. It means you're not quite there yet. You don't feel com comfortable to show the world your true self, your authentic self, and you've got tendency to still hide. You only share it with a few people. But the message to me was very clear. By coming out of the spiritual closet, it's going to give you the opportunity to connect with more members of your soul family, your soul tribe. It's almost like it's time for you to let yourself be seen. And it's an aspect that to me was quite important uh, when I did the meditation this morning. It was a very clear message. Um, so basically, it's I feel it's very exciting. Of course, some of us, like me, we've been on a spiritual journey for quite a few years. And of course, I've met already uh, members of my spiritual tri uh, tribe or spiritual family. But what I'm sensing is something bigger. And as I mentioned earlier, on the aspect of community feels to me very important. So it could be big gathering, 
um, spiritual groups as well. So bear that in mind. It's going to be very different from one person to another. What I would like to do now is to draw a few tarot cards and ask Spirit for any other information related to the Great Gathering. And today I'm going to use a new tarot deck. I'm very excited. It's called the White Sage Tarot. And like I usually do, I draw normally three cards. So let's see if three cards are going to help. Um, and just ask spirits for any information and other messages relating to Red Gathering cards. So let's see. Oops. Almost flipped out. Bear with me. Oh, they're absolutely beautiful. I love the cards because the energies, you've got animals, and the energies are quite soft in some kind of way. So I love using them. I've been using them for two weeks now. So bear with me a few seconds. I'm going to look at the cards. Um, yes, it makes so much sense. Okay, the first card, I'm going to try to find the right light. Here we go. Is the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups, to start with, is very much a card for the first message I received um, just now. It's all about memories. Quite often, memories of your childhood or when you were young, like teenager, good memories of joy, happiness. Um, so a kind of nostalgia, it, you know, nostalgia. Um, and I sense, because of the connection with star seeds about soul family, I would say what I'm sensing now, it's more a message related to previous incarnations. It's almost like spirit is showing me um, the soul craving for a time where you feel so close to your soul family and you grow and evolve together. So we're talking here previous incarnation. Now, Another message as well for the Six of Cups is about fresh thoughts. And I feel it's a new way of being, new feelings. Yes, when you connect with your soul family, you're a different person. You feel very comfortable. You feel excited because you feel that they understand you. You've got the same aim, the same goal. But also, there is an important message as well with the Six of Cups, is to find that balance between giving and receiving, which is very important. And I would, I would say, um, in a situation where you are connected with your soul family, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. You're here to be there for each other, helping each other, in different ways. So let's say willing to listen, willing to share, share anything. So I, I feel that's very strong on some level. So I'm not surprised to see this card. It's, I feel the nostalgia of yeah, previous incarnations. I feel my soul warming up nicely, the love the connection, the deep, deep connection you will have um, with your soul family, your, your soul tribe. Now, the second card, very interesting, is the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is very much about new beginnings. Pages in a tarot, a tarot deck sorry, is about new beginnings. 
Page of Cups is very much about creative opportunities. It's about trusting your intuition. It's about being curious. So there is an aspect here of being very much open-minded. And I'm going to share with you my experience on that level. That happened nine to 10 months ago. And when I say open-minded, it's open-minded to all possibilities. Although some of them, you does not make sense. So what I mean by that, it could be something happen in your life and an opportunity is presented to you and you're trying to make sense of it and you don't understand because first of all, you're thinking, but it's not me. I don't have the experience, for example, if it's a job or a project. But my advice here would be to trust your intuition. What happened to me 10 months ago? Basically, an opportunity for a part-time job happened. Landed on my lap. It was in, from an industry I had no experience. And first of all, of course, the human side was wondering, well, hang on, I can't see myself doing this type of job because I don't have the experience. But my soul was giving me a different message. I trusted my intuition. I accepted the job. To only realize maybe two weeks later that not only I became passionate about that new venture, new project, new job, but I discovered all the people around me were part of my soul family. So it's a beautiful place to be there. It's a place where we're going through a transition and a future project is there to be taken as well. And it's beautiful in the sense that we are all sharing different things, all our different gifts, and it's coming out quite, um, yeah, beautiful, positive, I would say. So don't be too um, hasty to say no to an offer, to an opportunity. If it doesn't make sense, just sit down and really trust your gut feeling, your intuition telling you, no, go for it. You understand later on that is what you are meant to do. So bear that in mind. That's, that's an important message. Now, and I think with the, the page of cups, there is that aspect of creativity as well. So the Page of Cups basically is inviting us to look at creativity from a place of, I would say, playfulness, a bit like a child, to explore it like a child, discovering something new, having fun, um, being innocent in some kind of way, and yeah, bringing joy into your life. So that's an aspect of it here. So remember, if you have that opportunity, just think hard about it, but don't decide very quickly to basically, sorry about that, an alarm went off, never mind. Um, yes, don't take that decision very quickly if you feel that I'm not sure about it. Just check. Check your intuition, just trust it. Check that you can see there is something potential. You can't have all the information yet, but stick to it. That, that would be my advice, basically. Now, the third card, absolutely beautiful and very much related to the great gathering. Is the three of pentacles. So the three of pentacles is about teamwork, is about cooperation, it's about learning as well. And it's very much a card on an energy level, if I can talk about energy here, uh, from the three of pentacles to the great gathering card. It's a card 
um, showing us that you are invited to be part of that group. So the group can be your soul family, the tribe family. You can work together. It's very much uh, you come together as a team. You have, um, how can I put it? You can bring something different than the others are going to bring. But what's going to happen, working together, is going to be um, something much more significant at the end of the day. You're going to achieve much more. So each person has something to offer. But there is that aspect as well of listening and willing to share. So it could be anything. It could be you're an expert on something or you're there basically to guide the group with your knowledge and wisdom. But it's, it's, it's so important, is that teamwork, that collaboration, especially in the context of community, let's say, where you've got a project in mind, a goal, each of you will bring something different that's going to help you to focus on that project. But I would say long-term, it could help each of you to grow and evolve on a personal level. Absolutely love this month, actually, message. Uh, I wouldn't say it's only in March, but the fact we've got the great gathering card coming for March, I would say it's the start. And remember, I mentioned 2023 is going to be a major year for community work. So bear that in mind. If, let's say, you feel that you are already there, don't hesitate to share, if you want to, uh, your experience and leave a message, you know, just be below the video. It would be absolutely interesting. So that's it for this month. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you for liking and sharing. And if you haven't already, Please subscribe to the channel to receive notifications on future videos, sorry. And if you would like a private intuitive reading, please check my website. You'll find the link down below. So thank you again. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye for now.